Hey guys, what's up Pisces? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. All right, Pisces. So flip it how you need to. Also remember it's a general reading. Yeah, there feels like a lot of something going on. Yeah. All right, let's just see. All right, so um, remember it's a general reading. So take what's yours and leave the rest behind. All right, Pisces. Yeah, there's all kinds of like blocked off conflicted energies. I'm not sure what's going on. So let's find out. All right. If this does resonate with you, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. All right. All right so somebody could have put you in a third party situation. Um could be some guilt some regrets about that let's see which way the angels are trying to get you to go cards for pisces cards for Pi pisces choose a new direction so it's interesting Look for a sign. I said which direction they're trying to get you to go and I think in a different direction than possibly you're um, headed. Because you have unlikely there. So which and no at the bottom. So maybe the direction that you're heading in doesn't have the end result that you're wanting. All right, so three cards for Pisces. Immediate future, what's going on? Aries has that same card there. So you are trying to manifest something. Um, it looks like stability, home, commitment. Um, so things are moving. Let's see this for once because that, that is about family, home, house, foundations, building, growing together. Hey, the five of swords. See, that may be the problem here. And I don't, it, with the five of swords here, I'm not really, I mean, it, I don't, we haven't even got the cards to see, but we'll get to it. But with the five of swords, this is somebody who wants to win at all costs to have it, um, to have something long-term, something stable. So I don't know if this is you or your person, but it doesn't look like it's in an, it doesn't feel like it's in a negative way. It's I don't know. For some, I want to. I want to like don't ignore things. Yeah, get the answers. Get that clarity. Communicate clearly, and communication is coming. But the file of swords, you know, it's wow with this Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag energy. This is somebody being very attracted to you. Yeah. You're very happy. Are you happy though? I don't know why it's, it's coming out like that. But what is the five of swords? There, you may have multiple people competing for you, so it could be jealousy around there as well. Because you look abundant, you look happy, you look stable. You look like you're investing in something here, some type of commitment. But there may be something or someone in the past that you're still holding on to, or kind of uh, vice versa. All right, let's 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 keep going. Because the only reason I can see choose a new direction is because, I mean, that four of pentacles. 
So I feel like you or someone is still holding on to something. But with that five of swords there, just make sure. Um, I don't know why I want to say. Make sure you're you're making a decision that's the best for yourself. It does look like there's somebody very attached to you and is wanting to win at all costs to get to you. Show me this magician. But there's something you're manifesting and it's looking like there's nothing that's going to stand in your way. Because there's feelings here. Wow, that's sweet feelings. I mean, that's romantic feelings. Libra energy with the justice card there. And that's, that's about, you know, trying to create that balance trying to make things equal give and take could even trying to be make things official yeah with this king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn so i mean it looks really stable here um it doesn't have to be a taurus virgo capricorn that king of pentacles is a provider hard working there's a lot of love around this i mean and with the yesterday the 28th we had the full moon in libra so Aries energy with the Emperor there. So with the Justice card, that's Libra energy. It makes us look at these aspects, these different angles of ourselves and our relationships and things like that. So, I mean, there are sweet feelings here. There's a lot of love. I'm trying to figure out why it says unlikely and look for a sign and choose a new direction. And it keeps pulling me back over to this five of swords here. Because with the Queen of Wands and the, uh, the Sun, you're happy as hell. It, it could be a situation where, you know, somebody is realizing that and they're really working hard for it. We're going to see because these are good cards. Show me this Eight of Wands for Pisces. But with this Emperor manifesting, definitely taking charge and trying to balance things. So with the Eight of Wands, that's communication, that's things moving forward. Oh, the Seven of Wands. The Two of Cups. So the love is mutual, but why the Seven of Wands? the devil hmm see this is where it gets interesting and remember it's a general reading so don't take it if it's not your reading this could be an x um this could go a couple of ways all right because we have the three of swords at the bottom so it feels like somebody who broke your heart before um, and you know, things really do look happy. Like they look stable. They look like they're trying to get to a balanced place here. Um, the love is real, but I can't ignore that we have this five of swords here. Okay. And then the devil here. So the devil, we're going to clarify it, but that can be an X or, you know, negative behavior patterns repeating. Um, and it also, it, it just kind of, be clear on intentions, like your intentions, their intentions. Um, because with the 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 four of pinnacles here, there, it's it's like still holding on to something, um, something that you know maybe it's in your past or maybe it's just an idea of how something is supposed to be, but it's it's toxic. With the queen, another way this could go with the king of pinnacles and the devil here. Um, We'll see. That has to do with um, possessiveness, that type of thing. But hell, the wheel of fortune, things are, are moving. They're changing. It's all about divine timing. Um, just make sure in some situations that things are as balanced as, as they seem. Or you may be moving forward towards this and you know an X is going to reappear. There's that King of Cups. So this could be your energy. This is somebody you have a lot of love for. Why well, the seven of wands though? It's definitely wanting to move forward. It's 
make sure it's equal give and take. I feel like what well, for some, I mean this is a great this is a great reading. There, for some also though there's things in the background like this was an X, so make sure that you know you're seeing things for what they are. Because there's love, there's communication coming. So you may be manifesting, you know, something else very balanced and, you know, kind of somebody who's chained to you in the background. If you're, you know, manifest, whatever you're manifesting here, it's, it's, Because, you know, this Queen of Wands has a lot of admirers. She can have more than one. So you may have a choice here between people. Use your intuition, okay? And remember when you're manifesting to keep it to yourself until it gets to, like, a foundation. Um, so, you know, you it, it kind of grows how you want it. But, I mean, there's... In some situations, there's there's a, a catch, a catch twenty two. I don't know how. So there's a still a tie to something or someone at least still tied to you. I need advice for Pisces. for Pisces thank you religious factors your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path anything else for Pisces no okay thanks trust the situation is calling for you to have faith because divine timing is here so either you're moving on with something else and there's someone still kind of hanging on to you or you know you you may be moving forward and, and trying to make things very stable very sturdy um with someone from your past in which situation and you know it looks like things have have been going pretty good here um, but we do have, you know, it could be communication coming in here from an ex or something like that. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together, honeymoon. I mean, there's something hidden here. I think you would know what that is. So just be clearly, get that truth, get that clarity. Cut out what's no longer serving you and what's not going to forget, you know, help you get to your purpose. Don't let anything kind of chain you and pull you back here. All right, Pisces, I hope this helped. I hope it resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.